78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Box community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, the unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk, faces off against his mandatory WBA regular champion, Daniel Dubois. Um, fight went as I expected. Uh, Usyk stopped Daniel Dubois in, I believe, eight rounds. I think I picked him to stop him at eight. Maybe he stopped him in the ninth round. I'm not sure. But Daniel Dubois, um, you know, just basically called it quits uh, in this fight. Uh, you know, he that's part of his repertoire now. When we seen him quit the first time against Joe Joyce, I told everybody then, mm -mm, can't trust Daniel Dubois no more because now, ever since then, you've seen him take knees in other fights. Now, I understand that's a part of boxing. Some people say, hey, that's a smart move. If you're in trouble, you know, take a knee. Sure. But I've saw I've seen the guy quit, so I know he's going to use that uh, when times get hard in the fight. Um, but let's talk about what happened before he quit. Dane Dubois uh, knocked out Alexander Usyk with a body shot in the fifth round. However, it was not ruled a clean shot. It was ruled a low blow. And the reason why is because Alexander Usyk uh, did a great acting job. He was hurt. But he made it seem as though he got hit low, okay? And um, the referee who, uh, listen, they're, they're in Poland, right next door to the Ukraine. They have this, this big, you know, Ukraine love affair. You know what's going on. So, you know, Dubois had to stop Usyk in order to win. And I thought he, he did that in the fifth round. And, um, you know, Dubois' team did not protest during this five-minute break that Usyk got, all right? Uh, Usyk even tried to continue uh, after about a minute and a half. He tried to continue, and the referee said, no, you got more time. Go back to the corner. The referee made Usyk uh, uh, take more time twice, okay? Now, for those of you who might say, nah, it was a low blow, all right? First of all, you can't see Usyk's belly button, right? And usually a referee, those of us who've been watching boxing for many years, we know that the referee usually says, if you can't see your belly button, then I'm going to let it go about here, right? On the belt, that's that's a, that's a good punch. That's a clean punch, uh, which is why uh, more, most fighters who don't want to get hit like that uh, uh, will have their belly button showing. And, and guys who want to play games like Usyk played will have the, 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 their belly button covered up so they, at any given moment they can pretend like they got hit low. It's no secret that Usyk does not like getting hit to the body. Um, further proof that Usyk faked it. After that fifth round, when Dubois went back to the body with a, with a straight punch to the body, clear as day hit Usyk in, on the flesh. Usyk still backed up, winced, looked to the referee as if he got hit low. Now, all y'all have to see that, Okay. So that's proof that the man was hurt to the body. He does not like it to the body. And uh, now everybody who Usyk fights is going to try to go to Usyk's body. Frank Warren, the promoter of Daniel Dubois, says he's going to protest and he's going to challenge this uh, ruling. And uh, But I'm telling you right now, nothing's going to happen. They're not going to overturn this decision and, and say that Dubois won. They're not going to order a rematch. Um, I highly doubt that we've seen blatant robberies in boxing that are more uh, vicious than this and nothing has happened in the sport. All right. So that's just what it is. Uh, they're not going to uh, take Usyk's belt, especially with everything that's going on in the world politically, not going to happen. You're not going to take Usyk's belt and, and um, give it to the likes of Daniel Dubois. It's not going to happen. All right. So. Uh, and plus, Dubois, at the, at the end of the day, you know, you know, I picked him to get stopped by Usyk, uh, and he showed everybody why. He just didn't have the know-how. Once you hurt this guy, you should have been all over him, right? Should have been all over Usyk, no mercy. Um, like I said before, there was no dirty boxing. There was no clinching. There was no roughing up the smaller man. Every heavyweight that fights Usyk is, is like playing this pity pack game with him. 
Usyk has the benefit of fighting heavyweights in a very clean matchup. He, nobody, he, you never make this guy feel your your weight or your power. This is what irritated me about Anthony Joshua. I'm like, why is AJ not leaning on this guy? Why is he why is he backing up and allowing Usyk to back him up? Why not? When Usyk steps forward, you step forward. You thought you're the bigger man. You stronger. You throw your punches, and then if it let make him clinch, right? Put Usyk in a position to clinch. Now he has to carry your weight. Now you can lean on him. The old school Klitschko move, the Tyson Fury tactics. None of these guys do this with Usyk. None of them do it. They just let they just play this this, this clean boxing game with him, trying to and you never nobody ever tries to beat him to the punch. I saw Danny Dubois sitting here uh, trying to counter punch with Usyk. You're not the faster uh, fighter. So wh- why counter punch? Why not be first? You know what I'm saying? Dubois' defense was absolutely horrible. No head movement whatsoever. Um, Usyk just had his way peppering shots at Danny Dubois. Um, so, you know, Usyk went over after the, after the, the ninth round where he, where he, he made Dubois quit. He went over. Because, you know, and Dubois quit. I don't want to hear nothing about he didn't quit. All right. Boxing got real soft. Deuce pretending like he didn't quit. He did quit. Same thing with Ryan Garcia. All right. Ryan Garcia got up as soon as the referee said 10. He knew he was from the – he knew the count was over. So, listen, if you if a guy want to get up, he, he going to get up at 8. All right. If a guy want to get up, he going to get up at 8. So, Dubois, he, he basically quit again. So, now – um. With that being said, what's next for Danny Dubois? He still can be some heavyweights. He can be some guys. No, nobody in the top uh, three or four or five. He can't be none of those guys. But he can, it's, it's some up-and-coming heavyweights. He'll be a good test for, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't mind seeing him versus uh, 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 Jared Anderson. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even though Jared Anderson is fighting tonight, actually. So we'll see how Jared Anderson looks tonight. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't mind seeing a Dubois versus Jared Anderson or something like that, um, you know. But other than that, Dubois is just not – he don't have what it takes to be uh, – not at this stage of his career. He just don't have what it takes to be at that next level, that elite heavyweight status. He just don't – you know what I mean? He, I don't think he got it upstairs uh, where, where it counts um, because, you know, he never complained to the referee like, hey, man, he never challenged anything Usyk was saying. Uh, Dubois was being a gentleman in there with Usyk. You can't do that when you're fighting this guy. That's the same mistake AJ made. You got to go in there and you got to be nasty with him. You know what I mean? I think Derek Chisora fought Usyk the best out of all these guys at heavyweight. And we know Derek Chisora, and, and, you know, he's a journeyman. But one thing I know for sure, uh, and I keep trying to tell y'all, Deontay Wilder with flatline Alexander Usyk, right? With flatline him. Usyk is used to being the faster guy, uh, the slicker guy. Wilder is much faster than Usyk, more explosive, punches 10 times harder than Usyk, okay? Usyk gets hit a lot. Uh, Usyk's defense is not what they claim it is, where the people say, oh, man, Usyk got this superb defense. No, he doesn't, man. He just doesn't. He gets hit. Dane Dubois, as slow as Dane Dubois is, as robotic as Dane Dubois is, he was able to land on Usyk several times. Now, Usyk took the punches, to be fair. But he's not going to take those punches from a Deontay Wilder. I don't even think he takes those punches from a Tyson Fury. Um, that's just my opinion. And then and Fury's gonna Fury gonna beat Usyk, man. It just it's not even a a contest. I don't know why Fury's afraid to fight Usyk because Fury gonna beat Usyk uh, pretty bad. Fury gonna fight him dirty. He's gonna lean all over him. Um, by the sixth, seventh round, Usyk gonna be blowing wind, tired as ever, and Fury gonna be hitting them all upside his head. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of the fight. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button. Hit the notification. I'm about to hear deuces.